This is the Xiaomi Mi Smartband 6, the latest iteration in Xiaomi Smartband releases. It's light, it's beautiful, and it's got plenty of features, has almost no compromises, and most importantly, it's a considerable step up both in price and functionality over the previous Mi Band 5. But the question that begs to be answered is, is it still worth buying at $50? Before we dive into my review of the Xiaomi Mi Smart Band 6, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and also turn on notifications so you know when I post my next video. Let's begin. So, Xiaomi has made a big name for itself in the budget smartphone market. But can they repeat their successes in the smartwatch and fitness band market? Well, with the Mi Smart Band 6 and also looking at the Mi Band 5 before it, they just might be onto something special here. For what's in the box, it contains the Mi Smart Band 6, a magnetic charging cable, a strap, and a pretty big manual. For specification, the Mi Band 6 or the Mi Smart Band 6, as it's known in some regions of the world, showcases a 1.56 inch AMOLED display that has 326 pixels per inch and has a max brightness of 450 nits. And yes, it's bright. So bright, in fact, that they included a touch light function in the Smart Band and it works. You also get a 125 million power battery, which is a bit lower than what you get in Samsung's Galaxy Fit 2. It weighs 12.8 grams, comes with Bluetooth 5.0, and has a water resistance rating of 5 ATM, which basically means it can withstand pressures equivalent to a depth of 50 meters. This means you can take it swimming, you can go in the rain or snow, you can take a shower in, or you can dive into water with the band and you'd have absolutely no problem. For the build, it's made from plastic, but it's not cheap feeling plastic by any means. And except you really bit this device with the intention to destroy it, I think you're not going to have any challenges with the build quality of this smart band. The front is covered by a curved 2.5D glass, and at the back you'll find a two-pin magnetic connector for charging and the usual array of health sensors. The strap that comes with the Mi Band 6 feels okay. It's soft, it doesn't collect dust or hair, which is a win for me, and the strap spots a pinhole buckle, which is quite nice. The Mi Band 6 works with Mi Band 5 bands and vice versa. So if you're a Mi Band 5 owner, you can use your existing strap if you do upgrade to the Mi Band 6. The display here is beautiful. It's got really punchy colors and you'd have absolutely no problem using this band under direct sunlight. It's plenty bright and sharp. There, however, isn't an ambient sensor here, so the brightness you set is what you're stuck with. So you might find yourself manually adjusting the display brightness if you're transitioning between darker and brighter environments. Um, there are well over 100 watch faces available for the Mi Band 6, uh, and a fewer than 10 of them are actually customizable. In my opinion, just stick to the default watch face as it looks the best. Battery life isn't an issue here. If you're using the device in normal mode with brightness set to about 45% um, and screen on time set to about two or three seconds, you get about two weeks of battery life from the smart brand. But as a reviewer, I had to crank up my settings to how regular people might likely use the device. Brightness was set to 75%, screen on time was set to 10 seconds. I allowed notification and also turned on heart rate tracking step counter and the PAI, which is the personal activity intelligence. Now with all of these turned on, I typically got about six days of battery life and had to recharge by the seventh day. So it's safe to say that this band will conveniently give you a one week battery life, which is pretty decent. So due to its much larger screen taking up a greater surface area, the Mi Band 6 does not have capacitive home and back buttons like the Mi Band 5 or the Galaxy Fit 2 does. Um, instead, it relies on a swipe from the left edge of the screen as a back gesture in most of the menus, much like you have in Android and iOS um, these days. The only place where that's not the case is in the home screen. Here, a swipe to the right reveals the audio media controls and a swipe to the left lets you view the current weather conditions by default, although these actions can be switched out for multiple other actions in the Mi Fit or the Mi Wear apps. 
Now, swiping up and down browses through the menu item and the tab takes you into whatever menu item you select. The scrolling while swiping up and down feels a bit choppy, but this isn't a deal breaker. Emojis are also now supported out of the box in the Mi Band 6. The Mi Band 6 introduces oxygen saturation measurements, commonly known as SpO2 readings, to the Mi Band series. You need to manually start the process to get readings, but it seems to be pretty accurate. I compared some of the results I got to those of a medical SpO2 meter, and they were not far off. You should, however, note that this isn't a certified medical device. So if you need to be absolutely sure of your SpO2 levels, well, you do need to get the medical SpO2 meter. The Mi Band 6 also comes with automatic walking, running, cycling, elliptical, and rowing matching recognition and others. And it's quite good at spotting these activities after a few seconds of ongoing movement. And the workout data looks accurate in my opinion. Now, quite a number of reviewers have complained that it doesn't sync properly with the Mi Fit app, but I carried out most of my tests and tracking with the Mi Band 6 paired with the new Mi Wear app, and the data sync was solid. I only had a disconnection once when I went below 10% of battery on my smartphone. I'm not absolutely sure why this happened, but that was my experience. You should also note that the Xiaomi Wear app cannot connect to third-party apps like Strava, Google Feet, and any others. You also cannot export raw data files, so the data collected by your Mi Band 6 stays in the Xiaomi Wear app. Heart rate and step count readings are pretty accurate, even without pairing to a smartphone. I compared the values in my Mi Band 6 with the step counter on my Samsung smartphone, and they were very similar. I didn't try out the sleep tracking because I don't see why I should wear a watch to sleep in order to track my sleep. I mean, it's sleep, and I don't believe you should wear a watch or a fitness band to sleep. Leave the tech behind when sleeping, please. That being said, is the Mi Smart Band 6 worth your quid? Yes. If you're budget conscious but still want a great fitness tracking band, then the Mi Smart Band 6 is one you should consider. At $50 or about $25,000 if you live here in Nigeria, you're getting a pretty decent deal. A full body display, waterproofing, decent battery life, and functional software features. The few things I found myself a little bit disappointed with are one, the lack of an uh, ambient sensor, two, the not so impressive watch face collection, and three, the sometimes janky scrolling animation when scrolling through the menu system. Aside from these, I really do think that this is a great smart band for the fitness enthusiasts. Guys, if you have any questions about the Mi Smart Band 6, please leave them in the comment section. And if you're not yet a part of this channel, do hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be a part of this channel. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.